In a world full of trends, I want to be someone who remains a classic. I love this quote from supermodel Eamon, and it's something that I like to live by in my personal style choices. Trends come and go. I used to be someone who would just buy cheap jewelry anywhere and everywhere that I went. And I think it was because I was afraid of narrowing down my style into something that I could invest in. But in recent years, I've kind of shifted my mindset and started to buy pieces that are maybe a little more expensive, but are things that I will wear and enjoy for a decade. Things that aren't going to go out of my style or that I'm not going to get tired of. And so today I wanted to share with you my minimalist jewelry collection. I have quite a few ear piercings. These ones up here on my ears, I just keep in my ear and definitely I don't replace them. The only ones that I will sometimes change out are these two bottom ones, my first and second holes that I have on both sides. These first ones are these beautiful pearl earrings from Ana Luisa. They're not very expensive and I like that they're just a dainty pearl on the end of this beautiful gold ring. They just kind of remind me of a Parisian chic kind of style and I love them and they, to me they're very timeless. The second ones I have are also from Ana Luisa and they're more of a boxy shape. They're like a rectangle. And again, I just love that these are more of a timeless hoop, but kind of a hoop with a twist because they're not just a normal hoop with the rectangular shape. And these ones I love to just leave in my ear. They're kind of like my go-to every day. I don't take them out. I actually shower with them and sleep in them, which I don't know if you're supposed to shower with them, but they seem to be holding up pretty well. If I do want to switch out my earrings and kind of add a little bit more of a variety, I do have four other sets of earrings. The first ones are these ones that I picked up at actually a thrift store, which is very random. They're very different than most of the other jewelry I have. They're definitely the most colorful piece of jewelry I have, but they're ceramic with this beautiful painted on pattern, hand painted, and then the top is this gold, it's real gold overlaced on top, and I just love that they're so unique. And I wear these when I wanna feel a little bit more artsy. <laughs> My second pair of earrings are a piece that I picked up from a local shop from actually a friend who makes them. Her name is Anne and her company is Birch. These ones I love, they're just very minimalist and I like how they're like a hoop, but a frontward hoop, so that's kind of unique. And it's just a little bit of a step up, a little bit of a variety from my normal earrings, so I'll wear these every once in a while when I want to kind of switch it up. The next piece of earrings are these hoops from Ana Luisa that I absolutely love. If you follow Sarah Therese on YouTube, she partnered with Ana Luisa to design these earrings, and I just think they're so elegant, so lovely. I love the shape of them, how again, they're a classic hoop, but it's more of a narrow kind of squished in circle, which adds just a different look to them. They're the biggest earrings I have, but they're not heavy. And I like to wear them when I'm feeling a little bit more fancy. Like these are my fancy out and about earrings. These next earrings are just some studs and these are pretty special to me because my grandparents actually bought them for me i think they bought them when they were traveling somewhere but they're real gold and i remember they gave them to me when i was about eight or nine but i didn't appreciate them because at that time i was really into silver i rediscovered them a few years ago and i was like <gasps> because now everything i own is gold i love gold and i was like these are real gold these are so pretty so I wear these, sometimes I'll switch them up um, for like my second holes or up here I have some other piercings I'll switch out. But yeah, these are just special. I'll never get rid of these just because one, they're real gold and two, they're meaningful because my grandparents bought them for me. So thank you, Papa and Nana, if you're watching. <laughs> I have four rings, including my wedding ring, but I don't have a second band for my wedding ring. I just have the simple dainty ring and I love it so much. And it's actually really meaningful too because it was my husband's grandmother's ring. Um, she, her husband passed away unfortunately. And the first time she met me, funny story, her maiden name was Taylor and she met me and was like told my husband or my boyfriend at the time i love her if you ever want to marry her <laughs> then here's this ring so he got this ring even before we were engaged which is very random but yeah it's just it means a lot to me because of that reason that it was hers but also i just love it and i think it works perfect with my style it's so elegant it's minimal simple and something that i really value and treasure 
The next ring is just the simple band that I got from Ana Luisa. And it's just a simple band, nothing fancy, but I really love it. And it's something that I'll add when I wanna add a little bit more rings to my fingers. This next ring is another one that I purchased from my friend Anne. She obviously handmade it, so it's very unique, but I just love the, the waves. I think it's just a very beautiful ring that I can fit on multiple fingers. And then this next one was a gift from my mom, which is very special because she got it for me on my first Mother's Day. And it's just a simple band with an engraving in cursive of Zion, my son's name. So I just love it. Again, something that I'll never ever get rid of. And I generally wear it on this middle finger because it just fits there well. So these are like my normal go-to rings. The other ones I will add in if I want to be a little bit more fancy. But yeah, just usually the two rings for me. Necklaces. I have never really been a necklace person. To me, they kind of just got in the way. But recently, I started just getting a few necklaces that I really love. This first one is one that I purchased on Etsy. It is my everyday necklace. I don't take it off. I shower in it. I sleep in it. Don't even realize it's there anymore. But this is just a simple gold chain with the engraving Z in it, obviously, for my son, Zion. And I've been wearing it basically without taking it off for about five months now and it hasn't to me it doesn't even look like it's faded at all so it wasn't very expensive and a great quality necklace this next necklace is one that i really love and it was my first necklace purchase when i started kind of making these more intentional jewelry decisions this one i also got from etsy i love the vintagey kind of coin look but i like how this one is kind of shaped like that but it has image of a lion on it. And the lion is really significant to me for three reasons. First, in the Bible, Jesus is referred to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Secondly, if you've read the Chronicles of Narnia, Aslan is the lion in the book, and he's just a sweet, powerful lion. But also, in my opinion, he's a representation of Jesus, and some of the words he says and phrases he says are just so profound and lovely. And thirdly, lion rhymes with my son's name, Zion, Zion the lion, and he has a lion stuffed animal, so it's just a, overall a very special piece to me. I'll layer this one sometimes with my Z necklace. The only thing I haven't figured out is when I wear two necklaces, how to not get them tangled. So. If you know of something that doesn't tangle necklaces, let me know in the comments. I seriously would love to know that because I will buy something to not get my necklaces tangled. This third necklace I have is just a simple necklace that also was a gift to me. It has Zion's name in it, again, and it has a flower on it, which is really beautiful. It's his birth flower, and I just love it. It's very dainty, and I'll sometimes layer it again with my Z necklace if I kind of want to add a little bit more necklaces. And then this last necklace is something that I picked up from a thrift store. I don't know the quality, but it doesn't look terrible quality. I for sure don't think it's real gold, but it looks very vintage, and it's just this kind of snake chain choker, and it was something that I actually had on my wish list of things that I wanted to look for and I found it at a thrift store which I was very excited about. So I'll wear this one sometimes if I just want to add a little bit more of like a statement necklace I guess. It doesn't work with every shirt. It doesn't look terrible. Sometimes it looks bad with certain clothing pieces. So this one I really like and again it's just kind of like one I feel like dressing up a little bit more. I'm not a huge bracelet person. To me, they kind of get in the way and like are a little bit annoying, but I do have one bracelet and I wear it when I wanna just dress up a little bit. It's this beautiful, minimalist, dainty cuff bracelet from my friend Anne, again, who is from Birch. If you haven't already guessed, I really like her jewelry. And you just kind of slide it on. It's, it's very dainty and lightweight and it I don't feel like it's going to fall off because I got the right size and it doesn't make a lot of noise. I hate those like one bracelets where it just like makes a lot of noise to me that's annoying so I like that it's just simple minimalist but kind of adds like a little bit of like elegance to your wrist if you're wanting to dress up a little bit. I also have another piece of jewelry that I haven't actually worn but I still wanted to share about it. It is a watch that my husband bought for his mom when he went to Portugal and she loved this watch she wore it all the time and before she passed away she gave it to my husband and told him to give it to his future wife, which is just so special. I need to get new batteries for it, so I'll probably do that soon, and that'll be something that, again, I'll kind of wear when I wanna wear a watch, when I wanna dress up my wrist a little bit more, but it's just a very special, beautiful watch 
that I'm blessed to have. And that is my minimalist jewelry collection. <laughs> Zion, you want to be in the outro? Why is your shirt so low? What are you trying to do? Get a girlfriend? Are you trying to get a girlfriend, you crazy boy? You're too little to have a girlfriend. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very fun to film it and show you my jewelry collection. I hope you were inspired. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I think that's all. What else? Oh, like this video. That would be cool too if you guys liked this video. Say bye. Bye.